A worldwide shortage of microchips is turning the semiconductor industry on its head, leading to dwindling supplies of all types of electronics. As ABC 15's Mark Phillips reports, Arizona, especially the greater Phoenix area, will soon reap the benefits. In North Phoenix, along State Route 303, the 5.6 million square foot Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company's chip plant begins to take shape. When it's open for business sometime in 2023, it will produce microchips for some of the world's biggest suppliers of computers, smartphones, automobiles, and appliances. It's just been exciting to see how Phoenix has been transformed. Greater Phoenix area is now number one globally for semiconductor investment. We are on the map in a big way. If anything, it's gonna help the recovery of the shortage. Waltz TV and Appliance is a family-run business that began in a garage in 1957 as a TV repair shop. It's grown into a high-end appliance store. The merchandise relies on microchips. The chip shortage has forced the way Waltz has done business. This refrigerator, for example, was purchased in January. It didn't arrive on the showroom floor until July. Normally, they start buying for Christmas in September. This year, it was in the spring. Certainly, there's concerns. Um, we have been experiencing shortages in different product categories, but we, we've kind of been preparing for that since early last quarter. Henley says vendors are now warning him the microchip shortage is driving up the cost of chips as suppliers compete to purchase them. We're told, though, that it's going to be another couple years at least of these shortages. That'll be about the time the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company and Intel's expansion in Chandler are online, producing microchips and creating thousands of new high-wage jobs. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.